Oh boy, moving's always so much fun. Isn't that right, baby? <laughs> True. We could have hired movers, but, uh, between you and me, watching Antonio trying to lift boxes all day absolutely made mine. <laughs> Come here, Daisy. Who cares if we're sweaty and gross? We've been married for half a decade. I think we've hit the threshold on gross for now. I'll never get tired of your hugs. Welcome home, baby. To this, uh, definitely not haunted house. No, I'm joking. This place is haunted as fuck. Look how creepy that staircase is. I feel like we're gonna be getting frisky one night. And suddenly, we're just gonna have a ghost standing over us going, Oh, hey, you guys need a third? No, dear. It was a joke. We're not having a threesome with a ghost. I think that's how they get your soul, anyway. Huh. The champagne's warm. Wait, is the fucking power not on? How the hell did we miss the power being off? It's damn near nighttime. God damn it. I told them that this was our move-in date weeks ago. Just hang on, sweetheart. I'm gonna make a call to the energy company. And they're gonna get their ass down here and fix this. I'm not having my baby spend the first night in their new home without the comfort of air conditioning. Here you are. I'd wondered where you'd gone off to. You're still planning out what this room will look like in a few months, huh? <laughs> I gotta say, I'm... I'm still nervous. No, of, of course I don't regret it. Emily is a great kid. I adore every waking second we get with the little troublemaker. But at the end of the day, we're still mobsters, Daisy. Adopting a kid is wonderful. But I worry about their safety. Yeah, yeah. Big Tough Enzo is just a marshmallow. I know. And you're probably right. Ain't nowhere safer in the whole world them with us by their side. We're going to raise her right. Love her and protect her. Until we're, you know, old and decrepit and she's visiting us at the old people home. <laughs> I love you, baby. I know I say it a lot. I don't want you to forget for even a moment. You saved my life. You gave me purpose again. And, uh, you're a pretty good kisser, too. The what? Oh, right, uh, the energy company. They said they'll be here tomorrow morning. But seeing how it's, uh, the middle of summer, I think we should get a hotel room for the night. You've got another idea. Okay, what are you thinking? Close my eyes and you'll lead me there. Sure thing, dear. Whatever you say. Holy shit. You built a whole garden. On our roof? 
how the hell did you put a garden on the roof without me noticing? Yeah, I think Emily will love it too. You think we should sleep out here tonight, huh? Well, it is a lot cooler out here. Hmm. You know, that doesn't sound too bad. We could get some food delivered, have a nice bottle of champagne, and enjoy a nice night under the stars. Sounds good, right? I knew you'd agree. So, while we wait on that delivery, let's get our tent set up. And here we are. One bottle of champagne, and one giant greasy pizza. A glass of champagne for my beautiful Daisy. It's not going to balance out this heart attack of a pizza, but the bubbly is nice once in a while. Happy anniversary to you too, baby. What did I get you? Obviously the pleasure of my company. I mean, come on. Ow, no punching. Okay, okay. There may or may not be an all-expense-paid trip to Europe somewhere in your future. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Only the best for you, my love. You know, it's kind of wild to think about what the future may hold for us. But as long as you're by my side, I know we're in for one hell of an adventure. <laughs>